Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Crazy for Candles. This is Wanda. Happy Sunday to everyone. I hope everybody's having a great rest of start of your day. Oh, it is cold up here, I'll tell you. <clears throat> and I'm really into burning some nice, warm, comforting candles. And guess what we have today? A post burn candle review. We have four today. We have one from Bath and Body Works and three from Goose Creek Candle Company. I've been trying to get um, through some of my Halloween candles. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen, Goose Creek is having a really good sale. And a lot of their Christmas candles are out and a lot of new foodie scents as well. But let's get into this um, post-burn review, shall we? The first one is Spider Web pancakes and it's a luminary and when it burns down you get to see the little bats you know come through and I did a little um, current burn review on this I don't I don't remember if I did it on YouTube or on my Instagram but I did post one on there and the scent notes on this are maple pancakes blackberries butter syrup and vanilla this was a good burn, folks. The wax itself did not soot. I had a little, like, burning or a little soot on the end here. I don't know if you can see it on the upper corner. But I believe it was because of the fire stick. And I turned it like that and some flames got up there. I don't know. But the wax ended up being pretty good. <clears throat> now, the perform like I said, the performance on this... I didn't have a whole heck of a lot of sooting issues except for the side of the jar. The flames were medium to medium high, a thicker wick, no problems pooling. Now the scent on this, I don't know why they put blackberries on there because there was no blackberries on there at all. You smelled the pancake, you smelled the butter syrup, <clears throat> and a little bit of vanilla. It would be exactly like if you made pancake batter, put a little vanilla extract in it. I do it when I do my French toast. And when you have put the little f vanilla extract into the batter, you put the um, pancake batter, you have it on the griddle, and when you take them up and the edges are nice and crispy, and you put the butter and you put the syrup and you smell the warm, crispy pancake and that nice melted maple syrup butter that is the exact scent that you get on this so it's actually spot on less the blackberry scent because there isn't this is uh, on a scale from one to ten i would give this a definite eight it's a very strong candle you get to it fills the space that you're in it generally wafts out to the other rooms <clears throat> So when I start at my office, fills that up, smell it in the kitchen. When I have it going in the living room, I can smell it from the living room, the kitchen, and it goes down the hallway. So this is a nice, strong candle. I highly recommend this candle. I think it's on sale for like $9.99 right now. And would I repurchase it again? I would, but I'm not going to because I have way too many candles. And the second one that we have from Goose Creek is came on their cereal collection. And that was none other than Honey Crisps. You know, you really can't see it too well. Just a plain little wraparound label of cereal. And that's what it looks like all the way down. I know, a nice, really good burn. Really, really clean burn. Very little sooting, if anything. And the scent notes in this are honey butter, crunchy cereal, and vanilla. Yes. Um, the wicks here, basic medium wicks, which is perfect size, had no problems with pooling. I didn't have to cotton ball it. Um, nice, you know, um, medium flame. Now, when this is burning, you get that honey, like a honey smack cereal. I don't get the honey butter. I get a vanilla honey sweet cereal in the milk. Very, very pleasant. Very creamy. Very 
just a nice warm creamy comforting fragrance without being too sweet and the throw on this I would give probably around a six and a half maybe seven it's not quite a solid medium <clears throat> but it did fill the space I was in so I had it going in my home office it filled that space had it going into the bedroom it would fill that space and but if I had it going into the living room which is basically an open concept ranch home so you have your basic living room kitchen combination it tended to get lost in that you would pick up little tiny um, faint puffs of it every once in a while but it tend to get lost so you'd have to back it up with a, a different candle or a good blend can candle or what have you in that but your basic medium sized room you would not have a problem with this candle <clears throat> and with that being said, would I repurchase it again? No. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was guest friendly. Like I said, it's very warm, creamy, and comforting. But there's another um, honey, couple other honey candles that I enjoy more. But we'll get into that when I do burn those. Now, the third candle from Goose Creek. This is an old style packaging. This scent is one of my tried and true favorites. It always has been and probably always will be. And that is none other than ghost treats. This is when they had that two wick cylinder type jar, which they discontinued that style before they did the three wick tall country style jars. And it had orange wax. It was really, really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't have prob this jar style jar was always problematic. Since they had the double wicks, it always tunneled down. And they have trouble pulling. Less they a lot of the wax stuck on the side of the jar, but that was no problem for me because I would just scrape it out and put it into my burn pot. Because this fragrance is that good. Now the scent notes on this are pumpkin spice, crunchy cookie, butterscotch toasted brittle and sugar this i've always like i said i've always raved about if you guys like bath and body works toasted peanut brittle this is it in um goose creek's form i absolutely love it you'd smell the toasted roasted peanuts or you know if you snap open a jar of the planters dry roasted peanuts and you get that smell or you'd open a jar of peanut butter and you'd get that smell. And you'd get that little crunchy pot like a cookie, but it, like a peanut butter cookie. Um, butterscotch would give it a nice creamy thing. Not so much the pumpkin spice, but this is a total peanut brittle candle. Absolutely amazing. Now in this form, I've had it in this, this form, the small jars, the three wicks. No wonder this is always sold out very quickly on the website. This is a powerhouse. This is a certifiable 10, 10 out of 10 in my book as far as um, the throw. It fills up the space you're in. It will go in another room. It will keep going down. There. It's just wonderful. It's not overpowering scent that would make your eyes water, you sneezing. But it's strong enough that this projects throughout your whole home. So you get that buttery, peanut buttery, dry roasted peanuts, caramely brittle. Just a wonderful, fantastic fragrance. Now I can scrape this and put this in a burner pot. But what I know on this one, because I probably have 10 more of these, not this style, but the three wick jar. So with that being said, would I repurchase Ghost Treats? Yes. And if you haven't yet, well, it's sold out currently for in the Halloween packaging on Goose Creek but they also repackage it in like the other seasons as yum it's definitely try it you'll like it like I said if you like Bath and Body Works pumpkin peanut brittle get that and I rather get this over there because as we know in other video I had a horrible sitting problem and a performance issue on the Bath and Body Works version so I'll stick with the Goose Creeks. Now, last but least, the fourth candle is from Bath and Body Works. Another tried and true favorite of mine, and that is none other than brown sugar latte. 
and the Christmas package. Okay, people burning their Christmas candles. I got these. Um, I had, I think, one left over from last SAS. No, um, last candle day. And then, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I ended up picking up six or seven on SAS when they were like $5 a piece, which I was like, okay, I'll grab. They had like nine. I didn't want to be greedy, so I had to grab like six. This is so good, too. And the scent notes on this are roasted, fresh roasted coffee, froth milk, sugar praline with natural essential oils. This is probably the second strongest coffee candle that Bath & Body Works has besides Paris Cafe. This is wonderful. You get that fresh dark roasted coffee with that wonderful sweet sugary praline this is just an amazing smelling strong coffee candle I would also give this a certifiable 10 out of 10 the performance on this I didn't have any problems with sooting no problems with wax studding out pull wonderfully I did not have to cotton ball this and when this is burning, you get, like I said, that wonderful roasted coffee scent that goes in the space that you're burning and generally goes through the whole house. So you think you're actually brewing a nice sweet coffee. This is absolutely a wonderful candle. I hope it comes back. I have so many of them, but for the folks who would haven't tried it or wanted to try it. I hope it comes back for everybody because if I didn't have so many, would I repurchase this again? Oh yes, I would. This is a wonderful candle <clears throat> so that's it for my post candle burn review believe it or not I'm still waiting on my bath and body works order it's been stuck in New Jersey since the 24th of October what's that telling you it's lost I contact a customer service day and they said you gotta wait until the fourth it's like oh, I'm so done with them it's beyond um so there we have it Thank you for staying with me. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Happy Halloween to everybody. I'm going to be out there being scary in the yard. And please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so when I upload a video, you will be known that I did so. So, again, have a great day. Thank you, and see you in the next one. Bye.